Let me show you a couple ways that you can service the Z1 zone valve. What can happen with these zone valves from time to time if you put them on a dirty system that has a, maybe an old iron pipe system, you have a lot of dirt and debris, rust or scale in there, it can actually get in there and plug up that little passageway in there. So I'll show you a couple things you can do. First of all, you can easily take the top off this valve to service it too. So you just lock it open on your little indicator lever there, pop the top off. There's the valve. This happens to be a cutaway, so I can show you what goes on inside here first, and I'll show you how you can take it apart and uh, service it or repair it, actually, too. So inside there, what you'll see is a little pad on a little seat, and that's where it closes off the fluid stream. Is when it, uh, the spring closes the uh, valve, it shuts off that little paddle against the seat. Well, what can happen is you can get debris in between the paddle and the seat, and what you're going to find in there, a bend there, is uh, like a ball of solder, if you over-solder the fitting, or maybe if you reamed your copper tube and you've got some copper tube reamings, or sometimes Teflon tape. If you put any pipe threads together somewhere in the system, little um, shards of Teflon tape might get in there. So what you do, let me show you on this one, and everything we assemble at Club is put together with a fine thread and an O-ring, so this comes apart very easily. A 10-inch channel lock is usually sufficient to take it apart. So just unscrew the bottom part, of course, shut the water off first, and now you can get in there, and if it's just a speck of something stuck in there, you can just uh, reach in there with your finger and dislodge it, just pull it out, or needle nose pliers or something like that. Worst case scenario, you've damaged the pad on there and you have to replace it. Well, we do make a replacement kit, and watch this. You just take a little screwdriver, your pocket knife, or something like that. There's a little snap ring on the top that you pop off and lose it like that. And then you can just pull that paddle right out of there and we make that as a repair kit, a replacement kit, is that paddle, double o-ring, stainless steel. And now, of course, you can get inside there and you can see the seat. Uh, take a rag or an air hose or something, blow it out, put it back in there, just drop that back in the hole, push it in, snap your uh, snap ring back on the top. The bottom, fine thread, doesn't take much to tighten it. You don't need a big wrench, usually just a little channel lock. In fact, you can almost hand tighten that against the o-ring, I'll show you. You can see I've actually seated that o-ring just by putting it together by hand, but tighten up a little bit with the pliers, put your uh, actuator back on it, and you're back in business.